exclamation points for it, which is why it says Gen Con on there. <laughs> but that's the only real downside. Uh, the battery lasted for like several weeks. It was basically indestructible. Um, you know, it has a high contrast display. So it was awesome. Uh, unfortunately, uh, last year, AT&T shut down their 2G network, and uh, so I had to get a new phone. <laughs> so my options, you know, at the time were to either get some kind of smartphone, but I find these kind of like distracting and annoying and stuff, um, or to get another dumb phone, but all of these are sort of cheap and, and plastic and stuff. And so I decided to pursue the obvious solution, which is to build my own phone. <laughs> and in, in particular, what I wanted was, I wanted like a phone that would match the rest of the stuff that I could had and use every day. So things like a bike, or my sunglasses, or a watch, you know. All of these things are technology, right? All these things have some purpose, but they all have this sort of like nice, they have this aesthetic quality, which is that they're, they're like nice, and in 10 years, they're still going to be nice, you know, and it's not just like a gadgety technology thing. So that's what I wanted out of a phone. Um, there are three things I'm gonna talk about. There's some electronic stuff, and some software stuff, and then some industrial design stuff. All right, so it's a phone. Obviously gonna need some Luckily, when I was in college, I had a one semester lab about electronics. <laughs> this, is an example, this is an example of my work from that time. Uh, I don't know if you can see down here, it says uh, G minus. <laughs> uh, so, G minus is the kind of grade you get at a liberal arts college. <laughs> uh, it stands for good minus. And, uh, that, that scale actually it went through uh, VG for very good. Uh, e for excellent. So G minus is, is basically a D. <laughs> so this is actually how, how I made uh, the electronics for this phone. Um, I knew that I needed some kind of cellular computer chip thingy uh, to talk to the cell network. And so I, I Googled around. I found this guy. Um, this is actually the photo from the press release. <laughs> so I mean, it's obviously going to be sick. Um, <laughs> so it came, came with like hundreds of pages of, of documentation. So you know, I'm kind of scrolling through this stuff, and you can see there's like a lot of words, <laughs> like these diagrams, and this chip has all these pins and like colors and stuff. But if you keep diving in, there's actually some kind of example, helpful example circuits. So this is an example schematic for um, connecting to a SIM card, right? So the module is on the left, and then there's like some resistors and stuff, and like some capacitors, and then you connect them to the SIM card. Um, and I saw the schematic, and I'm like, looks good. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, same thing for the other stuff. This is the um, antenna documentation. This is cooler because it has these blob things. <laughs> Of thought on this. Um, I went 
with a frying pan school of thought. Um, some people use toaster ovens, but you actually put it in a, a skillet. <laughs> it actually, it actually worked. It's like super ghetto, but I was like, I cannot believe that it actually worked. Um, so that's how I made the hardware. Um, so that, you just connected a bunch of things, right? So they don't necessarily do anything yet. Um, to do that, of course, you have to add a, a tiny computer. Um, the tiny computer in this project has various responsibilities, so things like detecting the button presses, uh, blinking the lights, um, having these chats with this other tiny computer about, you know, there's incoming calls, things that could call, stuff like that. Um, so this, this is a tiny computer that I used that's actually related to a lot of the um, Arduino stuff. So I'm going to point out a couple of cool things. Uh, it's $8 in, in quantities of one. Uh, if you buy a thousand, it's only four dollars. <laughs> right, I run it at 11 megahertz, uh, which is, is actually, when you're working with physical stuff, it's a different relationship. It's, like, it's 11 million things a second, which is a lot. It's a lot of things, right? Like, uh, so it sounds slow in computer world, but then if you start thinking about, like, well, I need to flick these lights on and off, you're like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Working with MDF because it's cheap, and then I moved on to start working with uh, bamboo and uh, walnut. 
And then I think last week, this was like basically to the point where I was at, uh, but thanks to the motivational power of uh, conference talks, I uh, <laughs> managed to, to laser print and or like laser cut the surface and do some stuff out of Walnut. So if you guys want to see this, you can come grab me later. And I have like, you know, other busted pieces and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Right, but I'm, I'm about uh, 350 hours into this project. <laughs> which, uh, so according to Malcolm Gladwell, that makes me a 3.5% uh, expert on <laughs> <laughs> cell phones. Um, and, and from this position of authority, I want to leave you all with one thing, um, which is that you know, one, make, making stuff is hard. Making stuff is really hard. And it's been really cool learning about all these different things, because like now out in the world, I kind of look at stuff in a different way. About, like how do they make this thing? You know, how do they make this do that or whatever? Um, and it's easy to kind of get lost in the weeds when you're trying to make stuff, right? There's like all this stuff here, and stuff is hard, and you know, things things break, and pieces of wood fly out of machines really fast and stuff. Um, <laughs> but you know, when you're out and when you're deep and, and lost in the weeds, the one thing I, I want to remind you guys to do is to just like celebrate your victories, right? So occasionally try and step back and. You know, look around and, and just be pleased with yourself. I was so pleased when, like, I made those lights blink. I was like, "This is the best thing ever!" Like, when I got this machine and I used it to cut like a larger piece of wood into like three smaller pieces of wood, and I was like, "Awesome!" So, I, I want everyone here to like try and go make something crazy and like reach really far. But like, when you do that, when you get lost in the weeds, make sure you like take time to step back and uh, you know pat yourself on the back. Thanks.